Making trips and adventures with a backpack is the cheapest, easiest and the most comfortable way. At least it should be. But how often you finish your journey with the back pain, rushes on the shoulders or simply dead? So till today nobody is teaching the basic of backpack and that's why everyone is making the same mistakes when buying, fitting and packing your backpack. Until today. Until you watch this video. Both with Erika we are professional walkers, guys, and every year we walk thousands of kilometers. When we were kids we wanted to visit the entire world. But soon we realized that we need to be flexible and ready to go, so we need only one backpack. Light enough to be able to jump into moving train, take the boat on the Mekong River or walk Camino de Santiago. So during our research, based on the errors and mistakes and also the opinion of thousands of our community members, we realized that we're making three big mistakes. There is no universal backpack size for everyone. You shouldn't choose your backpack based on the color or the fancy design, but rather think about uh, the correct size, which is the torso size. But let's go into more detail. Erika. Yes. Let's check what is your torso size from the back. Yes, because the torso you check from the back. So. So first you have to put two hands on your hip crests, which is the top of your hip. And if you see those two fingers here, they make the perfect line, kind of. And this perfect line is the place when you start to count your torso length. Goes up, goes up towards the C7. And the C7, it's this uh, bone that sticks out when you push your head forward like this c7 c7 so to measure your tonsil length you have to bring the thing back thank you baby and take it from here to down and with that correct measurement you can go and choose your perfect size backpack and sometimes the bigger than better is not always correct in this case 50 liter backpack might not necessarily be something for you because the bigger backpack the more things you put inside and you don't want to take many things with you i guarantee you that press this like button if you ever ask yourself what are this at this at this and this if you have a problem to understand how your backpack is done Erika will uh, demonstrate us uh, what is the correct way to fit every backpack. Let's do it. And the hip belt, guys, is that, that main crucial thing, the boss of everything. So it has to be somewhere on the hip crest. Actually, just on the hip. What you're gonna do, you're gonna buckle it up, adjusting just where the hip is, and then adjust from two sides. Instantly, you're gonna feel that the weight of the backpack goes here. Right, baby? Yes. You feel it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the main thing. Without that, the backpack is not even a backpack. The shoulder straps. A few different backpacks, I have to tell you. And some of the backpack, you just pull it down, and some of the other ones, you pull it up. The idea is that that you will actually take this, make this a round shape around the shoulder, not too much, not too little. Look at this. Back is already heavy, and I can fix the figure inside, but it's nicely around the shoulder load lifters so the load lifters are those two funky straps that are located just on the top these ones if they if you go uphill they allow you to move all the back towards you and if you go downhill you need some balance you can give it up and it gives you this nice and handy balance the perfect idea would be that the load lifters are in the perfect angle of a 45 
uh, grades, centigrades, no, Fahrenheit, no, any grades. And the last but not least, there's the sternum, sternum strap, which is just that. And remember, the idea of the sternum strap is not to do anything apart of bringing those two things closer to each other so they nice and comfortable and as well to see if your back is adjust well because if your back is not adjust well one will be like this and one be on the bottom so evenly adjusted will just remain straight and this is the whistle so in that way my friends <laughs> So in that way, my friends, you know how to fit the bag. And finally, the last big mistake is packing your bag. But before I get to this equally balanced bag, I have to tell you that the bag should be, that's what they say, uh, at most 10% of your body weight, which never happens because we always have too much stuff. When packing the backpack, you have to be aware of few things. Not everything goes around wherever you want. Actually, the backpack is designed in a special way. So the most light, like feather stuff, like sleeping bag, or maybe like the dawn jacket, would go to the bottom, okay? To maintain the body balance and the weight in the correct position, the most heavy things you're gonna put as close to your back as possible. That's why many of the backpacks are made with a computer compartment next to you. Obviously, if you go for Camino de Santiago, you wouldn't take a computer with you, but rather you stack it with any other important stuff. And then on the top of the backpack, just here in this compartment, or even on the top, you're gonna put the light things like a hat, like a book, like some fruit, maybe uh, uh, some peanuts, who knows? And the last of the last, guys, this is the dry sack. And the dry sack is the magical thing that can, apart from being, from being water resistant, you can hold your stuff inside, organize your stuff, and then you can expel the air and make it super small. So if you take two of them, look at this. Look at this. Uh, you can do it with all your stuff. It actually can even give it more squeeze. That on next Thursday, what time? Seven. Seven GMT time. We're gonna have a dive, deep dive into um, uh, how to use the backpack correctly. This is a live stream waiting there, like every week. So sign up for our uh, newsletter to get more tips and also some free stuff, and hopefully you sign up as well for the membership option because we have lots of good stuff spanish classes we have meditation classes we do local interviews local interviews with sneak peeks sneak peeks we do of local life. and we send postcards as well from cool places so good things membership is ready um, and that's all from this video hope you're not going to make any of those three mistakes anymore hope that your backpack is not a mystery for you anymore and hope that you will be happy and you will walk the Camino with us soon.